Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be answering two human evolution questions from previous question papers. Remember guys, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please kindly hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the link with your schoolmates, classmates, friends, and also please comment down below. All right, let us look at this question. This is a popular diagram um in exam question papers so let us go through it the diagram below represents the fossilized skulls of three different species of primates they were either bipedal or quadrupedal um so obviously by two uh quad four okay let's see label part x and the type of teeth at y so x is obviously the foramen magnum foramen magnum and the type of teeth y that is the canines all right then explain the significance of the location of structure x in organism c Three months. The significance of the location, the location of the foramen magnum in organism C, the organism in question. Three, four marks. We're going to answer it here. So um, let's start by specifying the location. The foramen magnum is in a more forward position. The foramen magnum is located in a more forward position um, below the skull okay then um, showing that organism c is actually bipedal showing that organism C is by pedal. This allows for the vertebral column or spine to extend vertically because they said we must explain the significance of the location, right? So the location is that the foramen magnum is in a more forward position, obviously in bipedal organisms. And the significance for that is to allow the spine to extend vertically, okay? Uh, which basically will help with the balance of the body weight um, in upright walking. So let's write it in full, showing that organism C is bipedal. This allows for the vertebral column, or you could have said you could have said spine, to extend to extend vertically, vertically from the base of the skull, from the base of the skull. To balance and the significance for this is to balance the body weight is to balance the body weight in upright walking in upright walking sure how would this be marked let me show you quickly um the foramen magnum is located in a more forward position, showing that organism C is bipedal. This allows for the vertebral column to extend vertically uh, from the base of the skull to balance the body weight in upright walking. So first, any three. I think this one will be a compulsory mark. That's what I think because we are talking about the location. Then the next two marks is for the significance. So you can either be a mark for this or this or this or that, or this one and that one. It will be any other two marks. Okay, which other, which of the skulls A, B, or C belong to an astrolupithecine? Um, 
that will be B. A quadrupedal primate, that will be A. Can't be C because C, we said it's bipedal, right? Explain how the change in the skull from B to C could indicate the change in intelligence. Uh, explain how the change in the skull from B, from a quadrupedal, to C, a bipedal, could indicate a change in intelligence. Three marks. Um, there is basically an increase there in the cranium size from, from organism B to organism C. So, um, obviously, if there's an increase in the cranium size, this will allow um, it to house a larger brain, um, which basically suggests greater intelligence. Let me write the answer. There is an increase in the cranium size from organism B to organism C. This will allow this will allow it to house a larger brain. A larger brain or you could have said a larger cerebrum which suggests greater intelligence intelligence there is an increase in the cranium size um, from organism B to C this will allow it to yeah that's the three marks